Hi, in this video, we are going to discuss the different types of a small scale feeding. We know that small scale feeding is occur only during a small duration and for a short distance. There are several factors which influences the small scale feeding. So they are listed as multipath propagation, which includes reflection objects and scatters and speed of the mobile where we encounter the Doppler shifts and speed of the surrounding objects and transmission bandwidth of the signal. And fading is defined to be the variation of the attenuation of a signal with different variables. So these variables may be a time, geographical position and radio frequency. The fading is often modeled as a random process because we cannot predict what happened in case of a fading effects. So it can be modeled as a random process. So when a signal takes multiple paths from transmitter to the receiver due to obstacles in the path, it is called as a multipath fading. So there are several classifications in small scale fading. The first classification is based on the multipath time delay spread. So based on this, it could be classified as flat fading and frequency selective fading. In case of a flat fading, the mobile radio channel has bandwidth of the signal is less than the bandwidth of the channel. So you just assume this road, it is considered to be the channel. Okay, if a bandwidth of the signal is less than the bandwidth of the channel, so the signal may be of a vehicle. If the bandwidth of this is less than the bandwidth of the channel, then it can be easily traveled through this road, isn't it? So in the next case, that is frequency selective fading, bandwidth of the signal is greater than that of the bandwidth of the channel. So in this case, if the vehicle is larger than the width of this road, it cannot be even enter into the road, isn't it? So like that, the signal cannot be entered into the channel and interference will result. So that kind of fading is called as a frequency selective fading. And the next point about the flat fading is, in this case, the mobile radio channel has a Doppler spread which is less than the symbol period. Whereas in the second case, the mobile radio channel has the Doppler spread which is greater than that of your symbol period. So this will affect your signal characteristics. And uh, in flat fading, about the flat fading, the wireless channel is said to be a flat fading if it has a constant gain and a linear phase response over a bandwidth which is greater than the bandwidth of your transmitter signal. Okay, so simply we could say the condition for the flat fading to be signal bandwidth is much less than that of channel bandwidth, whereas the symbol period is much greater than that of a delay spread. So the effect of flat fading is seen as decrease in SNR, which results in decrease of SNR. Whereas in the frequency selective fading, in this case it affects these different spectral components of a radio signal with different amplitudes. So the condition for here the frequency selective fading is signal bandwidth is greater than that of your channel bandwidth where symbol period is less than that of delay spread. So the received signal includes a multiple versions of the transmitted waveform that are attenuated or faded and delayed in time. So hence at the received signal they are get affected. Okay, it is very difficult to model when compared to the previous case. Another classification of a small scale fading is based on the Doppler spread. So based on the Doppler spread, we can classify as fast fading and a slow fading. So as the name implies, what is the type of fading? Fast fading, the speed is high. So the, it has a high Doppler spread, whereas in a slow fading, it has low Doppler spread. In case of a fast fading channel, the coherence time of the channel is smaller than the symbol period of the transmitted signal, which causes the signal distortion. So in the fast fading, the condition is TS, that is symbol time, which is greater than your coherent time, TZ, and your symbol bandwidth, BS, is less than your Doppler bandwidth, BD. Okay. 
so these are the conditions where the signal undergoes the fast fading and about the slow fading the condition is just reversed whereas ts is much greater than that of tz and your bs is much less than that of bd so in case of this slow fading channel the channel impulse response changes at a rate which is much slower than the transmitted baseband signal s of t so with that we close this video kindly take the assessment for the better understanding of this contents Thank you.